it isn't uncommon of me to do a lot of trivial tasks and quickly get bored of doing them. Whenever I run into such a situation, I quickly open up workflow and create a workflow to automate that task for me and save me a few precious seconds. You may think, how does shaving off a few seconds help? I might as well just do it manually. Well, uh, let's do some quick math. You save uh, 10 seconds today, you save 10 seconds tomorrow and so on and you do it for a week and you've saved at least a minute. Keep doing this for a long time, like a year, and you've saved roughly about an hour, if my math is correct. And an hour is a lot of precious time. The idea here is simple. I'm using Pretext as my scratchpad with a scratchpad document. Uh, you can use any app that supports Markdown and that allows sharing of the document's content. As simple as that, those are the base requirements. Things 3.5 recently added X callback URL schema support and some really, really fantastic URL scheme supports. And that is what we are going to be leveraging in this video. I treat my Scratchpad document in Pretext as an ephemeral document. What I mean by that is that the contents of this document can be erased at any time by the app itself, the OS, or even me. Uh, for all I care, the, document, the contents of this document may not be saved at all by anyone during the process. So it can just be there, I'm done, and it's gone. I don't care as long as it does what I need it to do. Now here's the interesting thing. For this to work as we need it to work, you have to remember a specific syntax, which unfortunately is the only drawback of this system at the moment. If you have uh, ideas to improve this, let me know down in the comments section. However, when you do it often, this is gonna become a habit for you, 28 times to be exact until it became a habit for me. And in this syntax, the list items are the only thing uh, that does not need to change. Everything else is optional. So let me walk you through it. There are two types of to-dos you can create, a main title and sub items in that, or multiple to-dos. And then optionally, you can tell which project it needs to go in. If this piece of information is excluded, the to-do or to-dos will go to your inbox. To create a main to-do with sub-items, start your title with a single pound sign or hashtag if you prefer. If you do not include this, all list items are treated as individual to-dos. To add this to-do or to-dos to your project, write your project name by prepending it with two pound signs. So two pound signs followed by the project name. And then simply note down your list. This is where you write down your ideas. All right, now, once you are done, uh, you wanna go ahead and tap on the share icon. And once the share sheet comes up, you wanna click on run workflow. Now the workflow I am referring to in this video, you can find uh, the download link for it in the description below. Uh, you can go ahead and download that and have it set up in workflow. And once you tap on run workflow, you wanna select this particular workflow. And once it runs, it's gonna pass through the information that you're sending it and create uh, to-dos in things accordingly. Now remember that when you do this, the apps will jump across a couple of times and you'll finally end back in workflow. Unfortunately, uh, Pretext does not have a URL scheme for itself, which would have allowed us to launch Pretext, but if uh, that ever gets implemented, I'll update the workflow and so you know you're back into pretext after this whole chain of commands finish so let me quickly walk you through uh, what happens when you run this particular workflow it takes the input from our document or selected text and then process it it first tries to find a main title if it's found it is saved inside a variable it then tries to find a project title if it is found it is saved inside a variable it then processes your list of ideas or points at this point it is ready to send the information to things it constructs a URL based on the information available to it and then calls things with the information. And that's about it. Now, unfortunately, like I mentioned previously, there's no way to call uh, pretext so it opens up again. I hope uh, the engineer implements this. It's a very simple thing to implement and it would save a lot of time for a lot of people uh, who will eventually use this workflow or just people exploring other workflows using pretext. And if you now open things, you'll have all your to-dos in that particular project, like we said it would. And of course, the skeptics amongst y'all are wondering why not do this manually? And that is a good question. So why do it in one app, then have another app, take it up and add it to a third app and then chain everything together, etc., etc. So I do get this. And the example I just showed was very simplistic. 
to be honest and uh, so let's take a look at a more complex example this is another scratch pad of mine for a particular app i'm working on i have my notes and ideas here to convert just a subset of the text i have written i simply select it tap on the share menu item and then tap on run workflow this enables me to continue taking down notes while simultaneously converting my ideas to to-dos and this is very useful because like i mentioned i treat this document as an ephemeral document and I can just, you know, forget that I even converted those ideas to to-dos and I may just delete the document entirely or the contents of the document and I may lose out on my ideas. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of taking two showers back to back. So as you can see, you can share the entire document to create uh, to do's from it or you can just select a subset of the document and create to do's from that into a particular project or just directly into your inbox so the process here is pretty flexible as long as you follow a relatively simple syntax how you adapt this workflow to your particular requirements is completely up to you and that is another side of the flexibility here you can adapt this to your needs you can change my script once you've downloaded it uh, to fit your requirements and perhaps you are not using things you are using another to-do manager or anything like that and as long as it supports creating to-dos using a URL scheme you're free to tweak the workflow and adapt it to that other app if you do so feel free to leave that workflow as a comment on this video so others can find it, discover it and use it, perhaps give you feedback and tips on improving that workflow. And similarly, if you have tips and ideas to improve this workflow, let me know down in the comments. I will highly appreciate it. So go down and check the description for the apps I have just mentioned. You'll find pretext, workflow and uh, the workflow script that I mentioned in the description. They are wonderful apps. You can do great things with them. And while you're there, feel free to like the video if you liked it. If you disliked it, head a little lower and into the comment section and let me know why you didn't like the video. If you're new around here, subscribe and click on the bell icon. And if you've already clicked the bell icon, by the way, uh, you may want to disable it and re-enable it because uh, sometimes I found that doing so, uh, YouTube then correctly starts sending notifications again in case you haven't been receiving notifications for my videos and the live stream. So I'll see you in that one. Cheers.